Crisfield over Cleveland. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan was just one politician who chose to attend the 40th annual Taws Crab and Clam Bake instead of the Republican National Convention. Everybody has an option if they want to go, but I thought it was more important to stay here with uh, with Marylanders. Uh, people in Maryland elected me to be governor. Um, they didn't, you know, I, I don't have any obligation to play politics in Cleveland. That was a sentiment shared by Maryland District 7 delegate Kathy Schlega. All 38 delegates in Cleveland already know me. <laughs> There's no voters in Cleveland. They're here. The Republican U.S. Senate nominee says if elected in November, one of her main priorities is economic growth. Delegate Schlega tells 47 ABC she's in support of less regulation on small businesses. And in terms of Donald Trump officially winning the Republican nomination for U.S. President on Tuesday night. Well, I've said since November when I got in the U.S. Senate race, I would support our party's nominee. And I'm a woman of my word, so I am supporting our party's nominee. In March, Governor Hogan reportedly told the Associated Press if Donald Trump won the GOP nomination, he would consider voting for someone else. When we asked him on Wednesday, nomination for Donald Trump, any comments on? No. <laughs> Lily Zhang, 47 ABC.